Hi, welcome to the short video series and in this video we'll be talking about Calmodulin. Calmodulin is an abbreviation for calcium modulated protein. It is a calcium binding messenger protein which is expressed in all eukaryotic cells. Now if we talk about what how a calmodulin is structurally, it is a small protein approximately 148 amino acid long. It is a dumbbell shaped protein which has N-terminal and C-terminal joined together by a central helix. Each domain has two high affinity sites for binding of calcium. We also have high affinity sites on this side. Binding of calcium to these sites causes conformational changes in calmodulin. Let's look at how the conformational changes look. This is a dumbbell shaped calmodulin. These are the two high affinity calcium binding site on N terminal and these are two high affinity calcium binding sites on C terminal. Now suppose this is calcium now which is binding to these high affinity binding sites. Binding of these calcium brings about conformational changes and that's here. Here we have conformational changes into the structure of calmodulin. Now calcium are still bound here and because of this conformational changes the target protein is now firmly bound to calmodulin. So binding of calcium to these sites causes conformational changes in calmodulin and due to these conformational changes calmodulin bind tightly to target protein. Calmodulin mediates many crucial processes such as inflammation, metabolism, apoptosis, smooth muscle contraction, intracellular movements short-term, long-term memory and immune response. Some of the important enzymes which are activated by binding of calcium to calmodulin are adenyl cyclase which is important in conversion of ATP to AMP. Then we have calcium dependent protein kinases which are important in many signaling cascades and they are thought to be important mediators of learning and memory and also important in immune signaling. Then we have calcium magnesium ADPase which is a pump which is a calcium pump and it regulates the amount of calcium within the cell. Then we have glycogen synthase as the name suggests it is an enzyme that is involved in converting glucose to glycogen. We also have myosin kinase which is important in contraction of muscles as we already saw the role of calmodulin in contraction of the smooth muscles. So it's here it is the enzyme myosin kinase which brings about this role. Then we have phospholipase C, the enzyme that cleaves phospholipids and it is important in signal transduction. And then we also have pyruvate dehydrogenase which is a very important member of pyruvate dehydrogenase complex and is important in conversion of pyruvate to acetyl coenzyme A which is later utilized in citric acid cycle. So this is in short about calmodulin. Calmodulin is also abundant, abundantly found in enamel and plays important role in binding of calcium there too. Thank you.